Hello, and welcome to the inaugural edition of Gan Jared's Toy Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing LEGO set 8707, the Boulder Blaster. The Boulder Blaster comes from the recent Power Miners line, it is in fact the most recent of that series. It's a LEGO shop at home and a Toys R Us exclusive, and uh, in contrast with the rest of the vehicles, which are like a motorcycle with saws, a giant drill, and a dust sweeper. This is just a bulldozer. It's got a lot of nice details like this uh, grill made out of these slope vented blocks and this uh, engine that has this very nice rubber hose connectors all around it. And even a little smokestack. But uh, yeah I like it. And the colors are uh, lime green and an orange with some black. And I think it works. I think that some people are saying that they need to have cooler colors but if you're in a dark mine and you're hooking dynamite around, you want to know where people are. And uh, having brown and black isn't exactly the best color for being seen. Now it comes with two figures. The first of them being the Engineer. And the Engineer is from the Crystal Sweeper set. Except, uh, so it's got this nice face with apparently a metal plate. And a very nice beanie. I really like the beanie. But the problem is that Power Miner sets are made to have the blue helmet. And uh, because they have two faces, a sort of a confident and then a panicked one. Since this one has a beanie, you can see the face from behind when you're driving the vehicle around. And that can be a little disconcerting. But if you can get past that, I actually do like the figure. The beanie is a definite plus with this, but... Uh, you know, if that can really bothers you, then you shouldn't get the figure. The other one is the Rock Monster. And the uh, Rock Monster comes with every set, uh, except they're in different colors. This one's supposed to be like blue Rock Monster. I think it's like ice. And uh, it's kind of egg-shaped. It's got these nice little arms. Um, it's very cartoony. I uh, like it's got the arms and it's got this uh, very nice giant jaw, which really lends the cartooniness to this. A lot of people were expecting more uh, hulking monsters like the ones in the Rock Raider series, but uh, if you want those, you can wait till the new sets that come out uh, and at the end of summer, because they're gonna def they've shown pictures of more traditional rock monsters. Now there's a couple of action features. There's uh, treads which work sort of. The problem being that when you just move it around like you don't put any pressure on it, they just sort of don't move. You have to really push down before they start spinning. And uh, that's a problem with all the rubber treads. Uh, it seems to be less a problem with the new plastic linking treads and I do like those. But I don't know if they have them in this size so I guess they had to make do. The other thing is the sort of the pusher is it's got it can move up and down and side to side. But I'll just leave them like a pusher. Now the big feature and the one that's like heavily advertised is what I like to call the dynamite catapult. Now the dynamite catapult works using this very nice hammer feature. And uh you just twist this knob here and the uh thing goes and pulls back. Let me show it to you from the other side. It's all, it works very tight, like it's all nice and tight, not very loose. And uh, as you can see when I fire it, it can work pretty well. The problem being is that these dynamites swivel around a lot. So you see that uh, the problem this time is that this little fuse kept it all stuck. So sometimes you have to uh, move it down a bit. And then you fire. And you can keep it firing pretty rapidly. The uh, sort of the clip that it uses only really, if you want to add more, really the, you can only add about one more before it wouldn't work anymore. Now the interesting thing is that in the promotional picture, you can see that it uses flick fire. But in the actual toy, it uses the Technic brick with the Technic rod with the stud on top. And I don't know why they did that. You know, it's probably just that Lego's cheap. 
know, basically like more like Lego blocks, like Mega Blocks, you know what I'm saying? All about Bionicles. But I have a flick fire missile, so I'm gonna fix this post haste. This is an Ian MOC creation upgrade kit lesson right here. So you can see it's all stuck on there. Now let's try this stuff out. Oh. Like I said, sometimes it can be weird, so let's just try that one again. I'm sure it worked this time. Damn it. Okay, well, I was joking about that. I knew that was going to happen. As you can see, the uh, stick of the flick fire one will get stuck in between the hammer and the uh, base of the unit. So it won't work. Apparently, must Lego must have found out about that after they made all the promo shots and stuff. But uh, that's about it for the Boulder Blaster. Honestly, I quite like it. It's uh, it's about $27, and it has about 300 pieces. So that's a pretty good ratio, considering that uh, some of the sets are like $80 for 450 pieces. You, and uh, it looks like this uh, series has a lot of promise to it. You know, uh, the new... Uh, summer sets look to be actually really cool and this is definitely one to look out for I don't know how long it will stay considering that uh, most people just buy Star Wars and Pirates and they're done with it but uh, it's definitely worth your while to look into it the only real major problem is the uh, as you can see the head on the back or the face on the back of the head but if you get past that it's really nice it's well designed and I think worth checking out well, this is my first review. I hope you liked it, and hopefully I'll be doing more of these reviews in the future. Also, check out my videos of me at Disneyland doing stuff. It should be fun. Well, have a good day, and I'll see you later.